Kavanaugh posting up against Anthony Randall. Shot clock ticking, Kavanaugh has to heave it and got it. Backdoor cut from Tyler Kavanaugh. Yes, Tyler Kavanaugh, lots of contact, count the bucket. And the clock is ticking, the garbage is. It goes to Kavanaugh, Kavanaugh for three to tie it, he's nailed it! Would you believe it? Rungtyniavimas užsienyje ne visiems krepšininkams yra rožėmis klotas. Vieni susiduria su kalbos barjeru, kitiems iššūkių kelias susidūrimas su nauja kultūra. Žalgirio Amerikėtis Tyleris Kevana Žalgiris Insider rubrikoje What It Takes pasidalijo savo patirtimi ir papasakojo apie tai, ką reiškia žaisti krepšinį ir gyventi užsienio valstybėje. It's like a, a culture shock. I mean, it was my first year in Europe was in Berlin and I mean, it was my first time ever being in Europe. So, just being out of the states hearing different languages uh, different buildings different food everything it was it was a pretty big culture shock at first but especially in berlin there was so much english and there was it was just a very alive city uh, we my wife and i settled into the rhythm pretty easily um, but it is definitely hard uh, being abroad and adjusting to certain things the culture the time difference, the different food. Um, so that's been something that we've continually had to adjust to over the, this is my third year being abroad. Did you have any stereotypes before coming to Europe? I don't know, about certain people, certain coaches from Europe, certain players from Europe, uh, just before you experience everything uh, firsthand yourself? Not really. I mean, I knew it was really good basketball from what I had heard and spoken to people, but you don't know until you, you get here and experience it. I mean, I'm three years in and I'm still adjusting to the European basketball game each day. You know, it's just so much different than how I was taught to play in America and certain little things here and there. And um, But overall, no real stereotypes. It's just been, you have to really embrace the whole experience from on the court, off the court, and really take everything in uh, to have the best possible experience. As you mentioned yourself, you, you first went to this very big multicultural city as Berlin and you saw uh, a lot of your teammates from states and so on. What was their first experience? Because, okay, it's one to go to Berlin and to have everything uh, with, uh, talk to you in English and so on, but there are other experiences. Maybe you can share some stories. Yeah, I mean, I was very lucky uh, to be able to go to Berlin and uh, but I know some, some of my teammates from college and other guys who've had to go uh, to play in lower level leagues and go to uh, Slovenia or Serbia and there's, the coach doesn't even speak English and no one, none of their teammates really speak English so it's just a very isolating experience and it's hard to last long in that setting and, and then I have a couple other teammates who went to teams in Spain and uh, they, now they're fluent in Spanish. Um, so like you just hear about all these different experiences that guys have and I was very blessed to go to Berlin first uh, to have the to be comfortable speaking English and to have that familiarity and uh, but I've heard some st stories about guys who have had it much harder. 